Day numero ucho, day eight. We are at a beach. This is Pirate's Beach in Galveston Island, on Galveston Island. Now, there's not very many people out here right now. Down there is Galveston Island State Park Beach, and I could go down there and activate that beach, but that would also be a POTA spot, and it would be a little bit, not cheating, but unfair advantage. Beaches on the air, that's the subject of today's video, in case you hadn't guessed it yet. There is a website called Beaches on the Air. This is Beach 7764, Pirate's Beach. I'm pretty sure that's right, 7764. I'm gonna double check that before I start logging. But the cool thing about, uh, about Beaches on the Air, they have a very well put together website, and when you go in and log an activation, I couldn't find a place to announce an, it says announce an activation. And when you go in there and it says, well, what call sign did you use and what frequency were you on? And I'm like, okay, so you're wanting me to an announce an already done activation. I was wanting to put it on the website and say, I, hey, I will be out here at this time. I didn't see a place to do that. It's possible I missed it. But on the activation page, when you go in there, you create a free account, go into the activation page, find your beach, and it lets you put notes in there, call sign, number of QSOs, all kinds of stuff. And down at the bottom, it lets you put a link to a YouTube video. So guess where this video is gonna end up? It's gonna be on the Beaches on the Air website. In fact, they're one of the websites that says, hey, one of the ways you can prove your activation is by taking pictures or uploading a video. And I'm like, how convenient. <laughs> There's also a place to put logs in there. So I'll upload my, uh, my either uh, my Adif file or my Carrillo file, which I don't know which one yet. But this is Beaches on the Air. And today is a weekday and it is beautiful out here. And there's nobody out here. I mean, there's one guy over there, but pretty much nobody out here. Almost have the whole beach to myself, as you can see right there. And I'm gonna set up on the back of the truck right here. I'm just gonna set up on the beach, set up an antenna, get on the radio and make some contacts. Yesterday we activated a lighthouse, that was really fun. The Amateur Radio Lighthouse Society, ARLHS.org. Great activation there, got some really good contacts. I posted in Discord and made a few more contacts after I posted. Ended up with, I think, like 11 or 12 contacts for that lighthouse, and today we're doing beaches on the air, so we'll see how many contacts we get today. Let's go. I set up in the back seat because it's kind of shaded in there. Originally, I set up on the tailgate, and with the sun, blasting me on the tail tailgate. I could see the screen of the radio, no problem, but I couldn't see the screen of my phone to do logging. So decided to move into the cab simply because it's shaded over here. Eventually, I want to get an awning for this side of the truck. My tent right there opens to that side, and I did that on purpose because I want to put an awning on this side that covers the entire side and back of the truck. It's called a 270 Extra or a 270X awning, and uh, the one I'm looking at is made by Bush Company. That would give me plenty of shade for situations just like this. Ultimate mobile POTA <laughs> setup. So today we are looking at, I decided to use the Pac-10 today because I haven't used it on an activation yet on this series. So this is the POTA 33 mast from Gigaparts that is tied, just bungeed to one of these pylons here on the beach just like that, and then it has, goes up all the way, I've got it up all the way, and I've got the 40 meter wire for the NFED half wave running over here into some Potaflex coax from Mezzi and Peloni. There's the pack tenna right there. Now, if I would have planned a little bit better, I just didn't want to use the Tar Heel for all of these activations. I used the Tar Heel on my truck for the uh, QSO party, for the island, US Islands QSO party. I used it again for the lighthouse and I used the uh, little HP, little Pro HP Tar Heel for my day one video with a POTA activation. But it wouldn't have been really cool to have the Tar Heel little tripod sitting in the water right there. But I'm like, you know, okay, I would have had to wash it off really good, get all the salt off of it, don't want it to rust. And also I didn't want to use the same antenna in every video. So today we're using the pac antenna, which is a fantastic NFED half wave antenna. If you've never used a pac antenna. It is one of the better in-fed half wave 40 meters. It's, this one's actually got a link in it. You can take about half of it out and turn it into a 10 and 20 meter antenna. But if you put the whole thing together like I have it now, you can get 10 meters, 15, 20, and 40 meters. 
So I'd like to try some 15 meters today, see if the band is open, but we're gonna see what we see. Also, as I said in a previous video, none of these videos are actually sponsored, but I've done several sponsored videos for Mezzi and Polony Coax. You can save a 10% discount on all of their coaxes, Potaflex and everything else they sell with the coupon code of HR2Cables at the Gigaparts link that I will put in the description of this video. Again, not sponsored. They have sponsored many of my videos in the past and we're gonna have them sponsor more in the future after this series is done. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. I copy Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. You're 59 here in support 2902 USL. Okay, I copy uh, 2902. Thank you for the uh, park activation. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm activating a beach for beaches on the air. So uh, you are 59 into Texas at Pirates Beach, which is 7794 designation. Okay. You know, I saw something on the internet the other day that indicated there were now beaches on the air. <laughs> There's That's everything the first on the I had heard about that. What was the number again? Yeah, the number is 7794. It's Pirates Beach on Galveston Island, uh, designation 7794. And yeah, if you go to Beaches on the Air, I, it's something that I just recently learned about myself. But if you go to Beaches on the Air, you can find, uh, you can drill down by state, and it'll give you an alphabetical listing of all the beaches. And when you uh, upload your logs uh, for the activation to claim your activation, there's actually a link in there. You can put a YouTube video. So guess what? <laughs> That's what I'm making right now. Oh, wow. Well, man, you have a great signal back this way in upstate South Carolina. Uh, and I, I seem to have a pipeline into Texas. Today. Yeah, yeah. Great signals coming from uh, down that way. Hey, well, good luck with your activation, and thank you for being in my log today. And with that, I'll say 7-3. All right, 73, good luck to you. KC5, HWB. Uh, QRZ, both. Right now, I'm just kind of looking for people calling CQ POTA. That's the most common thing to find. That and nets. I'm not going to check into a net, but I will go back to a CQ POTA. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Okay, I copy 10649. Uh, I am personally doing a beach activation for beaches on the air. You're about a 55 five to 56 into Texas at Pirates Beach, which is uh, beach number 7794, QSL. QSL, QSL, 7794. I'll put that down. I hope you have a great day and I uh, hope you have a great activation as well, Jason. Roger, Roger, 73, and good luck to you as well. CQ, CQ, CQ Beaches on the air. CQ Beaches on the air from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo. Calling CQ Beaches on the air from Pirates Beach in Texas, designation 7794. Calling CQ Beaches on the air. Kilo India 4, Kilo Golf United Mobile. Kilo India 4, Kilo Golf United Mobile. Great signal, 5-9. Thank you, sir. You're five and eight. Five and eight here in Virginia, southwest Virginia, close to Tennessee. No beach here, no beach, but still <laughs> uh, a good kiss. Oh, go ahead. Hey, Roger, Roger. It doesn't have to be a beach to beach, although it could be, I guess. But yeah, got you in the mobile station, man. Thanks for being out there. Sounding good today. Thank you, sir. You're sounding good, too. Have fun. Thanks for letting me in here. This is KI4, KG Mobile, 73. 73. Uh, QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo, Beaches on the Air. Kilo Kilo 4, Papa Alpha Lima. Kilo Kilo 4, Papa Alpha Lima, good morning, Bill. 5 7 into uh, Texas today. Roger, Roger. We'll do a beach to the mountains today. How about <laughs> that, buddy? I got you about a 5 7 over here in East Tennessee. Okay, QSL, copy 5 7 in Tennessee. Defer definitely an Eastern Pipeline today. Worked uh, South Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee. So thanks for being out there, Bill. Good to work you again. Jason, see you later, buddy. 73 and hold on. <laughs> 73. Kilo Golf 2, Charlie Victor. Kilo Golf 2, Charlie Victor, about a 5-5. Okay, copy the 5-5 five, five, New Jersey. Good to work you. 73. QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Beaches on the Air. This is Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Delta November Sierra. Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Delta November Sierra, 5-5. Roger, Roger, I've got you about a 560, Mike. I'm in a park. I'm at United Sierra, 2306, back at Okay, I copy 2306. Uh, looks like uh, 
McIntosh Woods QSL in Iowa. Okay, I got you in the park. Uh, got you on the beach from Texas. 73, thanks for the contact. Good luck to you. November 8, Golf Sugar, Japan. November 8, Golf Sugar, Japan, 57. Okay, 4x4, four four, Montana. Copy Montana. Thank you for the contact in 73. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for the contacts. I think I'm going to shut it down. Got 33 total. First time activating a beach. Uh, appreciate everyone being out there. Uh, 73, KC5, HWB. All right, successful activation. I got 33 contacts. Beaches on the air my first beach activation. And here's the thing, okay? Right down there, not far at all, right down there is Galveston Island State Park. And if you go to beachesontheair.com and you, you drill down by your state, it gives you an alphabetical listing of all the beaches. And Galveston Island State Park Beach is on this list. And it's been activated twice. Pirates Beach, right here where I'm at, has never been activated. And it would be easy to activate a beach that's in a park because POTA, because POTA's the most one of the most popular things in ham radio right now and from now on that's probably what i will do the next time i come down here i don't have time to do it this trip unfortunately but the next time i come down here i'm going to go set up on the beach in fact that beach spot is where we have set up numerous times on new year's day when we're out here activating on new year's day and i never knew it was a beaches on the air spot so i could go back and maybe find some of my logs and try to upload it i don't know but the point is that we can activate beaches on the air and pot at the same time right down there. So that's totally what I'm gonna do next time. But for my first activation ever to do beaches on the air, I wanted to do an independent beach and especially one that has never been activated before. So we got Pirates Beach, beaches on the air today. That was a fun activation. It's a beautiful day out here in Galveston Island. It's a weekday, Nobody, everybody's at work except me. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm working right now. But this is just a freaking awesome day in Galveston Island State Park. So. Uh, we're going to read some donations. You guys have really come through on the donations, and uh, we're going to read those real quick. And I appreciate everyone being out there and sponsoring this series. Again, we're doing this for ARRL Teachers Institute. I'm doing a new activity in ham radio every day for 30 days. And every new subscriber I get, I will donate 10 cents myself to the Teachers Institute with the goal of trying to get 10,000 subscribers, which is the $1,000 donation. And for every video that gets 10,000 views, I'll donate an extra $100. So go out there and view those videos, go give those a watch, share them around, and let's look at some donations real quick. As of last night, we are up to $1,645, $1,645. So it's a good start. This is uh, just, today's day four, but that was as of day three. These videos I'm recording right now are like four days ahead, so the numbers are a little bit skewed that way but sixteen hundred and forty five dollars is a really good start for the first few days of the ARRL teachers institute support benefit from 30 days of ham radio check the links in the description below for everything we talked about today i'm going to be on a road trip tomorrow driving somewhere we're leaving galveston this will be the last day that we're in galveston for this series and uh gonna road trip it tomorrow so i'll be on all star 6.52 hf aprs a few other things so 73 guys, thank you for watching. Please share this video wherever you can.